good enough. Good enough for me. We'll do that right there. And now we are moving at like a tenth of a meter per second compared to the space station. And there's the space station right there, 1.3 kilometers away, and that's where it will stay because we are moving at basically the same speed. Now, here comes the the suspenseful. Here comes the suspenseful part. These guys have to jet over to the space station, land on it, and then get in one of the capsules, which hopefully won't be that difficult. Uh, there are, like I said, room for 31 Kerbals on the space station. And so hopefully uh, we can get maybe not that many Kerbals, but a decent amount, an adequate amount of Kerbals. Also, if uh, any missions go wrong and uh, Kerbals would have to, for some reason, uh, abort a mission once they're in space, they could redirect themselves hopefully to the space station. Uh, we will always have room available for, I'm going to try to keep room for a decent amount of Kerbals, just in case any get lost in space and we need to do rescue missions, we can just bring them to the space station. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't happen. It hasn't happened yet. We haven't had to rescue anyone. Uh, and you can see here, we've been pretty efficient. He's still got 83% of his fuel left, and we're getting close to being there. So, uh, I'm not too worried about this uh, jetpacking. He's gone over a kilometer, which uh, is decently easy. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but uh, these guys have had lots of training. Like I said, Jeb uh, trained them a lot. Uh, and if you remember when I did the first uh, space flight like this, uh, I made it a little more dramatic than it had to be. This isn't actually super difficult. Um, Alright, now we are getting closer to the station. And uh, what's going to happen is he's eventually just going to slide up there until he bumps into it. Uh, at which time, we're just going to grab onto a ladder, get him in, switch back to the other vehicle, and do the same thing for the other two. And hope that nothing goes horribly wrong. I need to go up a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. Now... Uh, let's zoom in so we get a better look at what we're doing. He appears to be heading straight for the station. Exactly what we want. Now, all that we have to do is come in slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, I gotta go up a bit. Alright, now this is uh, just, you gotta be pretty precise, but uh, he's got plenty of his fuel left. We were pretty efficient with this one. Uh, Alright, we gotta go up and. Whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Alright, and let's head down. And he is doing a spacewalk on the space station. There is Domkus Kerman, uh, who was famous for the first ever spacewalk uh, of a Kerbal. He made history, 
And now he's made history again by breaking Jebediah's record for the longest spacewalk. And we'll let him board there. He's picked his room. And we'll switch back here over to this ship. And we will repeat the process. Now, as long as we don't mess up, this shouldn't be too bad. But Billy Bobbert, time for your first spacewalk. And, uh... It's going to be sort of a long one. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, don't do that. Oh, ow, ow. He hit himself on the on the thing. Um, all right. Well, we are traveling towards the space station now, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem either. Uh, we are closer to the space station than we were last time as well, I believe. Uh... But so after this mission, assuming everything goes well, uh, we will have six Kerbals living on our space station. And that's pretty good. I'm happy with six. Uh, at least for now. now act I may add I may add another ship another shipment worth of Kerbals, but like I said, it's after three in the morning. This is my last mission for tonight, at least. Um, it's almost four right now, actually. Uh, and, uh, all right, let's see. Gotta get this very precisely. Um, gotta just be heading straight for the space station, which we are, but you can't come in too hot. Cause that's a bad thing. Uh, all right, here we go. He's coming in and slow down. Go like this. All right. Now easy does it, and he can go and stay share a room. With Domkus here? Oh, what, what? Come on. Alright. So he's just chilling out, checking out the station. You know, what's around over here? All of that. Just checking it out. Alright, now. He's got to get down. Grab that. And board. Now we got one more guy to make the journey. And then we can, uh bring this transfer pod back down. Uh, Alright. And we are getting closer, so Domkiss will still hold... Domkiss or Domkiss? I think it's Dom. Dom? Domkiss will still hold the record for the longest spacewalk. Uh, so, congratulations to him. He has made... Uh, history almost as much as Jebediah, not quite, but maybe the second most. He's done some dangerous missions uh, in his day, but uh, these are the only... Oh, we're coming in real hot here. Slow down. Slow down. These are uh, the only six astronauts we've actually used. Uh, who have any flight experience are now all aboard the space station. Uh, and the entire new set of recruits that uh, we've brought in will be flying most of our manned missions from now on. So we'll look forward to meeting them. Alright. Now, let's ease our way in. And he can go chill out and uh, live with his crewmates in this capsule right there and there we go mission accomplished and now this uh, will bring it down out of orbit just for the heck of it really uh, there's not actually uh, any use for it anymore so we can just crash it into uh, Kerbin. Let's 
throttle up, bring our periapsis down, as long as we have enough fuel to crash. Uh, it has parachutes on it, but only enough for the capsule in case of an emergency landing, which we almost had to have. I almost actually just gave up on this mission because I didn't know if this was going to be a powerful enough pod. I'm still probably going to make it more powerful for future missions. But it did make it, uh, it did its job very well. And now we can just uh, time warp, bring it down, and then that will be the end of this mission. So it was a longer mission uh, than I'd expected, and we can tweak the delivery pod a little bit, but that's how we're going to get our Kerbals up to the space station. Now, do I, do I even deploy the parachutes? I think it'd be more fun to watch it crash. Um, and since there's no one on it, and we're going to have to redesign it anyway, no point in trying to save this one, right? Right? Yeah, that's right. Alright. So, we'll burn. No, let's leave some fuel. Maybe there'll be a bigger explosion. Alright. Now, speed up time by four here and uh, man this was this was a good mission I am proud of this mission partly because of the fact that uh, we almost lost this this it almost disconnected right here leaving the atmosphere that would have been bad and then we didn't think we were gonna have enough fuel or I didn't at least and yet we still managed to complete the mission so you know that long string of failure we've had? Well, we've had two pretty darn good successful manned missions. So things are looking up for the Kerbal Space Program. We've got our good luck back, and we are making lots of progress, uh, at least on the manned missions. Uh, I kind of have separated the two, manned missions versus unmanned, and we switch between them. But manned ones are going well. And we're not going to deploy the parachute. We're going to watch this thing crash. Oh, there's the big river on the map. Uh, if you look at Kerbin, there's a huge river. At least I think, yeah, you can't really see it right now. Because uh, it's dark on this side. But that's the big river. Um, Alright, so we'll take a look at the scenery as this thing crashes down. Uh, it's slowing down. I wish it was going really fast because I want a big boom. Normally, normally I'm very, very against big booms and crashes, but this is a special occasion. This is retiring this pod design once and for all in the most fun way possible. So yeah, we're slowing down a lot uh, for not having any parachutes deployed or anything turn off our SAS so we can just tumble and we gotta be pretty darn close to hitting the ground here we go we're gonna land right on the engines that should make for a good boom alright let's zoom out a bit and watch the fun All right, down near a thousand meters above sea level, so less than a thousand meters above the ground, and here comes the crash. Boom! There we go. It's our best explosion so far because it's the only one that didn't endanger the lives of our astronauts. So mission over, mission successful. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go to bed now. I'll do some more missions as soon as I get time. So we'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.